Welcome to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here with Lauren Falco from Destination El Paso, as always. And you guessed it, we are in the beautiful Plaza Theater today. What an amazing structure. This is mm -hmm. definitely one of my favorite buildings in El Paso of all time. It, it's There's a reason why it's called like the gem of downtown. It's it's a beautiful space. Um, it's an atmospheric theater. It's one of the only left in the country, actually. Um, and it was built in 1930. So it has all of the beautiful, like, kind of... Uh, Spanish decor, they took a lot of like art deco style and kind of mashed it all together to create mm -hmm. this amazing theater. Um, it reopened in 2006 um, and luckily with the Community Foundation, who are a big partner of ours, uh, the Community Foundation helped restore this and raised all the money for it. So. And it's also one of the top rated theaters mm -hmm in the entire world. Yes, we just got ranked uh, number 60 out of 200 of the top worldwide theaters, uh, which is amazing. It's it's our mid-year poll star review, which is kind of like a industry standard magazine. Um, they're the ones who do like billboard and all of that, but they they rank every year and, and luckily every single year the plaza seems to rank very high. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. We got a lots of events happening here, but let's talk about mm -hmm. some other events as well mm -hmm. across El Paso. Something that we have going on at uh, on the July 13, a very interesting burlesque show. Yeah, so it's a little little alternative, a little out of the box. Uh, burlesque on the Rio is a very popular. Uh, series that happens throughout the year. So they have a ton of events. Uh, the next one coming up is Celestial Bodies on July 13th, and that's happening at Touch Bar and Nightclub. I believe that's on the east side. Go check it out. If you've never been to a burlesque show, it, it's, it's definitely interesting. It's unique. An event that you wouldn't really expect to be happening at Top Golf. Yeah. Latin night. They apparently up. they apparently just want to surprise us all the time. Um, we actually, me and a, a someone else had a conversation yesterday about going to Top Golf but mm -hmm. not golfing. Apparently, there you go. Perfect <laughs> opportunity. Or maybe your significant <laughs> other wants to play golf, and you're like, you know what? I'll just go I'm dance gonna go, salsa. I'm going to go dance salsa instead. Um, but yeah, Top Golf is having a, a Latin night on July 13th. It's really cool because it has. Uh, it's free admission. It's on their patio, and so it's going to be beautiful outside, of course, at night. Um, and it's free admission, so you can go and check it out. One event mm -hmm. just for the girlies. Just for the girlies. We we were hiking for the girlies. Um, it, they're going to have a really cool. It's a it's a three quarter mile, so 0.75 uh, mile hike in Franklin Mountains in the Franklin Mountain State Park. It's a guided hike, which is awesome because you can learn about all the desert flora and fauna. And it's going to be a, kind of an easy hike. So anybody, you know, I'm particularly not a hiker, so maybe I can maybe. attend this one. Maybe this is the one maybe. for me. So it is a free admission to go, but you do need to reserve your spot. So go to visitelpaso.com to reserve your spot today. All right, there's this event that I got particularly excited about. I don't know if I'm the right age group for it, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that, you know, parents with their kiddos can sure. also enjoy. You know, uh, all people can celebrate dinosaurs and all ages can celebrate dinosaurs. That's what our platform is here <laughs> at KTSM. Um, we are really excited to have Dino Day at Centennial Museum at UTEP. Um, it's going to happen on July 13th. And it is, of course, open for all families, free admission. All the parents, maybe they don't know what to do mm -hmm. with their kiddos mm -hmm. during the summer. There's a really cool summer camp mm -hmm. happening uh, also this week. Yeah, so McGoffin, uh, which is a historical home, it, it was the mayor. Uh, the mayor's home back in the founding times of El Paso. But July 12th, they're going to have a summer camp from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, kids are able to be dropped off and can uh, learn how to cook basics. It's July 12th again at McGoffin, um, and you can sign up on their website. Uh, you could also go to visit elpaso.com to find more information. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Lauren. Thank you for joining us here. We're going to continue enjoying these wonderful sights. The silence the, of the... The, the silence of the <laughs> Plaza Theater. Uh, if you need any more information, like Lauren, Lauren said to go to visitelpasta.com and we'll see you next week.